were, by 19, you had won five Olympic medals. <laughs> by 19. How did the 2000, gosh, what? Oh, a, a baby. baby. <laughs> I'm like, oh my How gosh. did the 2008 games change your life? Well, you know, for me, gymnastics was just always my passion. It was something that I loved so much that I never really imagined that it would change my life because it was yeah. me just wanting to walk on a balance beam and, you know, pretend that the monkey bars were, were the uneven bars. And so I feel like I, I didn't really know what to expect. And so going into the Olympics, I just, that was my lifelong dream was to represent Team USA at the Olympics and yeah. to be able to do that with some of my best friends and my closest teammates. Um, and, you know, we now have this bond forever, but... You become it, family. Oh, you, you absolutely do. Together. Yeah, you really do. Yeah. Um, and you go through, you know, the ups and the downs, mm -hmm. and so you create this special bond. But it wow. changed my life in a way that, um, first of all, it kind of made me really believe that anything is possible if you really, like, have a goal and, and work really hard. But at the same time, um, it, I don't know, I, I just never thought that I'd be living the life that I'm living today because right. of a sport, so. And your folks were in gymnastics as well. Did they, did, yeah. they were, did they give you a choice not to do gymnastics? <laughs> so my dad can meet at the 88 games, won two gold and two silver medals. My wow. mom was a rhythmic wow. gymnast and world champion. I'm the only child, so all the blood, gymnastics blood went yeah. to me. Yeah. Um, but they really didn't want me to do gymnastics because really? they knew how hard it was. And they truly just wanted me to be happy, but my happiness came from gymnastics. And so when they saw how much I loved it, but also that I had, you know, God-given talent, right. and um, they didn't want to take that away from me. So my dad was my coach, actually, which was great. But what was that like, <laughs> yeah. having your dad um, your For those of you that have kids, I'm sure, uh, you know, there were definitely times that were challenging, like being a teenager, and you uh, think no. you know, exactly. No, I'm not gonna practice <laughs> And I'm not today. stubborn at all. <laughs> um, but, you know, it was, it was challenging at times, but at the same time, I knew at the end of the day that we were on the same team and he wanted what was best for me and I there wasn't anybody else that I could have you know trusted more right. and really kind of had that journey together like when I won that gold medal I looked up at the scoreboard saw my name in first place and the first person that was right there was my dad uh, you know so it was just what so a special, special moment yeah. to share yeah. together yeah absolutely so Do you have a favorite event um, so I was never the strongest gymnast. <laughs> um, my, one of my best friends and teammate, Sean Johnson, her and I were such different gymnasts. Like she was super powerful and strong and did these skills on floor and vault that I could have never dreamed of doing. And then I was very tall at 5'2". Um, <laughs> and- See, you're tall. Yeah, yes, yes exactly. Oh, gymnastic, <laughs> yeah. Um, and I was just a little bit more flexible and artistic. And so I excelled more on the uneven bars and the balance beam. Have you been back on the beam lately? I kind of have. Do you have a beam yeah. at home? Do you like to have Oh, no, not at home. But so my parents have two gyms in the Dallas area. So when uh -huh. I go back home to Texas, um, yeah, this was oh. just. Just recent? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> and so I have this, like, fear that one day I'm just not going to be able to do that. And I know it's coming. <laughs> but I just, I was home and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna see if I can do this. And I just jumped up and I did it. But now I'm like scared to do it again because that was like good enough for a bit. <laughs> well, you mentor other kids as well. Yeah, and that's, you know, for me it was, I was so lucky to have my parents who were, um, you know, Olympic and, and world champion gymnast and, and also so many of my teammates that I was able to be mentored by. Yeah. And I didn't really realize how lucky I was and how fortunate I was that I had that access and so, yeah. I created this app and, you know, knew nothing about tech, and so I've learned so much, but it's been really fun and in a great way to be able to connect with this next generation and hopefully just inspire them to, you know, not just be an Olympic gymnast, but whatever their dreams are. You're doing it. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm always fascinated by the life of, of an Olympian because you spend so many years, your beginning years, on the sport, and that's it. That's all it is yeah. in life. Once you are done with being a gymnast, what happens? Do you kind of like relive all those yeah. times that you missed out on or do you see it as like an open door? Kind of like everything that you just said. You know, I remember growing up and, and my dad, probably when I was like 10 or so, he said, you never know how far your gymnastics career will take you, but an education will stick with you for the rest of your life. So right. promise me at some point you'll go to school. And 10 year old me said, yeah, sure dad, you know, whatever. <laughs> so as soon as I finished um, my competitive career, I was 22 
and wow. I moved to New York and went to school at NYU and graduated from there. That's and amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Was your, uh, you have to do like an admissions essay where you're like, I want a gold medal. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, to school. <laughs> so that's actually what I really loved about NYU was they didn't care. You know, right. they're just like, we've seen it all. Yeah. And right. in New York was actually the perfect place for me because when I did finish gymnastics, I was so lost and confused because it truly defined who I was as a person she my entire life. Like breathe gymnastics. Yeah. Exactly. And so here I am moving to this brand new city. You know, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I didn't know who I was. I didn't, you know, have friends outside of the sport. And so I feel like that kind of those experiences have, you know, shaped me, I guess, into who yeah, I am now. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> Nastia continues inspiring her fans through her lifestyle website and blogs, where she covers everything from travel to health and fitness to beauty and fashion. We thought it'd be fun to get some of her top travel tips. What are your top three stay healthy on the road tips? Yeah, so first is hydration. And yes. that's probably the most annoying one, especially when you're on a plane. I think that for me is the most important for so many different aspects. You know, your skin, your your body, jet lag. People you know, forget it, to it, do it all the time. And, and I'm guilty of it too. So hydration is definitely key. Um, and then the other one, packing snacks. You know, sometimes uh -huh. at airports, it's gotten so much better now, but sometimes it's hard to find something healthy. And right. when you're exhausted, you go to that chip aisle or the candy oh, aisle. Dangerous. And yeah, I mean, uh, we're all guilty of that. And and so making sure you have healthy snacks um, in your bag. And then another one that's kind of health related, but more so for the girls, um, beauty. So while I was on Dancing with the Stars, we would finish the live show and get on red eyes. And sometimes I would forget to take my makeup off. And oh, yeah. that like number one tip, always take off all your makeup. Definitely. Do the, throw a sheet mask if you have the yeah. courage to look a little crazy on a plane. So really just trying to take care of your body um, is super important, especially when you're like that high in the air because it's just, your whole body kind of gets thrown Definitely. out of whack. So Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, baby. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you very much.